What is up y'all, this is Alex from Alex PC Tech again back at you with another video and on today's video we're gonna be reviewing the Tough Gaming LC240 RGB Liquid CPU Cooler. What's in the box are two fans, the retention mechanism, we'll discuss more on that later, the manual, and the AIO. Right out of the box, the design is aimed to complement the ASUS Tough motherboards and setups. It has this RGB logo that screams the Tough design and it can be customized using the Armory Crate. The fans has this groove design to improve airflow and reduce noise. It comes with a 4-pin PWM control for both the pump and the fans for you to tune your speeds according to your noise tolerance. What is good about this one is that it is compatible with a wide range of Intel and AMD motherboard sockets as you don't have to worry in case you have an existing system and want to upgrade to an all-in-one cooler. It has two brackets to support various Intel sockets and the AC Tech retention clip for the AMD and AM4 socket. This is actually quite hard to mount for the AM4 as the retention ring is not that easy to align and it does not snap into place easily. I've been using this for a month now with my Ryzen 2700 and it has no problems whatsoever in cooling the processor. Although that processor has only a 65W TDP, which is nothing that the built-in cooler can handle, I was able to overclock it stable at 4.0 GHz with a voltage offset of plus 0.29 volts. At the stock cooler, I couldn't even I wouldn't even dare to overclock as the extra heat will negate the minimal gains that I can attain from overclocking using the stock cooler. My idle temps were around 34 degrees Celsius and my gaming temps were at around 66 Celsius and maximum temps while performing Blender BMW benchmark was at around 71 to 72 degrees Celsius. So at 120 US dollars at around that price point, this is actually a good buy in my opinion as it is actually really flexible. You can put it in both AMD systems and Intel systems in case you have both. You can actually transfer it to both systems and also second one is it, it really does the job well. I have no issue with this one and I'm really confident that even if you have a 5950X, this will do you just fine. Although the size of the, the radiator is only 240, probably I would prefer a 280 for my own preference, but that is no problem with this one as you've seen on my previous temps. Now, the only thing that I don't like about this is the AC Tech configuration for the AM4 platform or the AM4 sockets are a little bit finicky, finicky so it's not easy to mount it. But if you're into the Intel side of things, then it's really easy. You just twist a few knobs and that's it. The, the CPU cooler is installed. But in the AC Tech, you have to make sure that the mechanism is properly locked and twisted so that it will have proper contact with your CPU. Like if you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. By the way, we have an ongoing raffle. I'll put a link of that raffle up here or down in the description below in case you want to join. The mechanics of that one is that you should be based on the AOE and you should be able to comment on that video and of course, subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video.